Hello and welcome back to Snack Play Love. Um, we're playing a uh, mostly blue but Simic Beats deck which essentially wants to cycle, wants to draw and wants to bounce its value creatures occasionally as well. Um, that was the first game where we actually found our win conditions which is interesting that that was our fourth win but um, it worked. They had a very similar deck so it was grindy but took half an hour we did win. And we've only lost to an amazing combo of a... Um, it was game two. Just go watch it, it's easier. Mutate combos. <clears throat> if you find the right creatures and you slap them on each other, then um, this format suddenly becomes rather... Um, <sighs> losing my words, rather mundane. Ah, our first gold opponent. It either means it's massively respecting our skills or there's no silver players on at the moment. But we did get a game against a bronze, so I can't complain. Um, I'm going to risk it. We've got a cycling two that we probably don't want to cast. I don't like frost links on three, because we want something else on two that's stupidly big to swing with. Um, <sighs> it's funny, I'm recording these days in advance now, because... I'm going to be doing more work during the week than the weekend. So this is a rare opportunity for a day off. Um, that said, being the NHS and being COVID season, I will be working this evening for an hour just to keep the numbers up to date for my local hospital. But as it stands, oh good. Um, do we have our enchantment removal in the deck? I don't think we do. We could just plain lose this. And brings to the means we take two less damage. Because the chances of them not cycling is um, slim. The only way I can frost links it is if I cycle on my turn. I mean, cycle on their turn with the enchantment turn. Oh. Off color reflection. That's just horrible. I'm going to take a picture of this and send it to my friend. He knows who he is. Um, we can't even punch them with this. We can't, we can run through, but um, instant. yeah, okay, we're going to have to run through. Oh no, God, I didn't play a land. Ha! I am so bad at magic. I thought I hadn't got any more lands left from my original. I'm presuming he's got the first strike combat trick because that's what I'd be packing in this deck. So, we block. We effectively go to damage. We ram through, which is a punch spell so it doesn't kill our links. We punch the 5-4 that he has that we've blocked. Two for one ourselves. We almost died to the combat damage anyway. Oh, double strike. It's just like ridiculous. It kills us so fast we can't even say good game. That is that is immense. I I applaud your efforts, humming seventy-four. See, I've never gone all in on that card in the draft. Um, 
I'm thinking back to what my cycling deck actually had. I can't remember. I think it was draft two that had those, and we didn't end up using them that much. Oh look, we're four two. Um, is there anything we can take out to make this slightly more efficient? Is there any way we can interact with um, those? So yeah, we could put Wilt in. Exile up to three target enchantments. That would be amazing, but you have to draw it. Um, what have we not been using? Boon of the Wishgiver. Like, if we get to six, we've probably already got enough cards. Um, I am willing to accept the losses to one archetype. So we've lost to good drafters, basically. The bronze one was brilliant. I absolutely loved that. Um, and that was the gold. I mean, I expect to play gold people from the next draft. Maybe not if we don't win the next one or two games, but um, I don't expect to be playing much bronze and silver players. Um, it's low silver. We'll see, this could be our final game. Um, we don't have any cycling. We have one of our best cards, but we cannot possibly cast it on curve. <sighs> That's an unfortunate cycle. Cycle? Um, yeah, okay. Keep six. So, we can't cast the Nightbinder, Bonder, and it's a human, so we can't um, put stuff onto it. That's cycling one, so I'm going to get rid of the cycling two card. The award for most mulliganed card in this draft yet the most useful card when we actually get it because we won that 30 minute game because of it ah <sighs> goes to the stompy foot spell um we're cycling boon boon's in your opening hand you're cycling it there's no question i feel like i'm talking faster than i've had this cover i mean i'm giving it away i'm doing it too early but i don't care we got our welt do we get blue? No, we don't. Um, yeah, I know the lands don't match. I'm in that case. Uh, he's got red. I can't risk it. I really can't risk it. When well, we've got so many other reasonable players. Oh. I'm glad we didn't cycle that. Watch this get counted. <sighs> so if we're desperate, we can fetch the other blue. Uh oh. Cycling next cycle face. Okay. Um. Sometimes the control deck is the big down. Because we're mostly blue, not mostly green. We definitely probably should have one more island and one less forest. But because we're playing on low lands. Um, oh, jeez. So that's got first strike next time. We risk it and we take the damage. We have flying. That's amazing. No. We should have played Ominous Seas way, way earlier. He's got punch, he's got removal, he's got excitement. I can make a stupidly big Mecha Godzilla with the Wingspan Mentor. Oh, 
Or he could just make a 3 4 first strike flyer. Did we get any herons? I don't feel like we've drawn any. So, first strike means he would kill one of the two twos. So, we kind of just have to take it. Um, we can't cast it. Does that come in untapped or tapped? Tapped. Uh, hmm. I was going to say, if that's got cycling one, we might just bin it. Hubris around cycling for the lands will cost us today. First strike. Plus one, plus one. Oh. The problem is, any cycling card kills that. So we swing for eight. Six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Wingspan Mentor isn't flying. If the Dreamtail Herald wasn't ridiculously powered up because of the first strike and the ability to cycle for damage. So, we can't afford to not block either of them. And I want to keep my flyers. So we're doing eight for sure. Statistically, we should be drawing a land, 44%. <laughs> um, okay. What's he get? Lifelink, lifelink, lifelink. Reach. It's not good. He's going, shit, he's got fog. That's what I hope he's going. <clears throat> and we have got fog, but it's not that fog. There are definitely flash creatures that... Um, he's concerned. Just mana screwed. So, do you have enough cycling to kill me with the Dreamtail Heron? 
Or a counter spell. Counter spell kills me, I think. Puts me on nine. Counter spell and one cycling spell kills me. Either way, this has been an interesting interactive game. Apart from the fact that we're on three lands. He's choosing his lands carefully. <clears throat> so we take five. So we have to be ridiculously careful here. Um, he needs to cycle two cards to not lose. Expert. No oh, menace. Ooh, menace is good. He loses. Oh. That was so fucking close. Yes. Whew. I thought he got me there. Um, so it's not the fog, but it works. And now we get to gold and we lose horribly. Was that two games? Yeah, it was two games. Okay, I'm going to stop it here. Thank you for watching. I um, hope you're enjoying these tenser games. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. It really does help with the magic algorithms and things. Um, I'm just going to keep doing drafts as long as I, um, what's the word, get the gems. So we've paid for this. We've got four packs to put into the stack. Um, I'll open them on stream at some point. I'll record it. I'll do that when we get the FNM code, maybe. But anyway, um, I might be able to sneak in the other games before I have to go and do some uh, window cleaning. Bye.